one. Welcome back to uh, MGE's rooftop. It's been a couple of weeks. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I want to share with you a very relevant message as we get closer to Rosh Hashanah. Tomorrow night, uh, actually Saturday night, we begin reciting the Slichot. MG is having a concert, a Kumzitz, Saturday night at 11 o'clock, and then a Slichot prayers at about 12. And the Parsha tells us that when you're a farmer in Israel, that when you get into the land of Israel and you see your first fruits, you can't just pluck a fruit off the tree and pop it in your mouth and enjoy it. You've got to do some, something very, very strange. The Torah tells us that you have to take from Rishit called Pri Hadama, from the first of all the fruits of the ground, and you need to put the fruit in a basket. You then bring the basket of the fruit, um, of the first fruits of your trees, and you schlep it all the way to Jerusalem. And then you go and see the Kohen, and you make this whole declaration before the Kohen that you are part of the Jewish people, your ancestors were one day slaves, God took you out of Egypt, and brought us to the land of Israel. I planted a seed, I have this beautiful fruit, and here I am. And it's, it's a little weird, actually, because you're talking about a plum, you're talking about a peach or an orange, and you have this whole drama and pomp and circumstance over a little fakakta fruit. What's the deal? And it's a very, very powerful but simple lesson that I think we need to think about as we get closer to the high holidays as we begin reciting the Slichot Saturday night, and that is gratitude. Nothing in life happens for no reason. If something in life happens, of course, it has to do with the hard work that we put in, right? The fruit would not have grown without the farmer planting a seed, but the fruit would not have grown also without God's blessing. And gratitude is everything in Judaism. We have to recognize that even a simple pear, or peach, or plum, or orange is a blessing from God, and that no matter how much you work, and how many years you spent in graduate school, and how many great jobs you get, if you don't have Hashem's blessing, you have nothing. And this is a very important lesson that we need to internalize. One of the things we're doing in Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur is just saying thank you. Thank you, God, that I'm here another year. Thank you for giving me the blessings that I need to be happy in life. And maybe I'm not totally happy. Maybe I have certain issues I need to work on and certain relationship problems and maybe even professional issues at work. But I'm alive and I have this food. I have what to eat. And we need to say thank you. Gratitude is everything in Judaism. And therefore, there's all this pomp and circumstance and everything that we need. And it ends very, very beautifully that when you have this fruit, you will be happy. When you do this whole ritual, because if you express gratitude, you will realize all the goodness you have in your life and it will make you joyous. We know that all the studies demonstrate that grateful people are happier people. That God has given you to you, the Levi, and the stranger, the rabbis teach, some of the rabbis, contemporary rabbis explain, why does it end with Asher Bikir Becha, that's in your midst? Because when you express gratitude, when you do something authentically Jewish, when you perform a mitzvah, and we're supposed to up our mitzvah ante now as we get closer to the high holidays, it's going to fill your inside. Bikir Becha means within you. We've got a body and a soul, and we need to also feed the soul, not just the body. When we do that, and we express gratitude, and we realize the blessings we have from on high, we can be happier, more content people, and we will have something to come before Hashem on this Rosh Hashanah to say thank you for your blessing. Shabbat Shalom.